difference. We will be continuing from where we stopped. We are going to be adding loads to the roof line as well as the cover beams. All right. So let us get started. Don't forget to like and subscribe as we proceed into this lesson. We will also design the foundation of the structure after analysis and design of the structural steel members successfully. So for the loading of uh, the roof line, we have already placed a clouding right there. So we have to navigate to the story four right there, okay, which is the top of the roof. After which you can just let the clouding just like it, right click on the clouding and then you come down to edit loads these provisions. So once you click on these provisions, give the program some time to enable the edit load dialog successfully. So here we have the edit load dialog, okay. So for us to apply the load on this successfully, we will have to, you know, get the all of this selected. The all of the clouding, we get all of that selected successfully, just like this. And then we we'll click on this uh, full uniform area load. Once you click on that, we will have to identify the load we are going to be applying. This is uh, the uh, dead load, which is the G. And then if you click in this drop down, we also have uh, the Q, which is live load, okay, uh, as well as the wind load, okay. But in this lesson, I will show us how we can just apply the two loads, um, the G and the Q, successfully. So you have to select all of this successfully again. Just like this, once you get this letter, you can come to these provisions and key in the load. Let's say our dead load is going to be one kilometer per square meter. So you click on update to update it right there. All right. So after which you select all to make sure all the load is being applied. Okay. Just like this. After which you have to come over to this provision, the Q load, activate that. You can as well increase uh, this for the Q load, okay, make it two kilonewtons and then highlight all of that. Click on the update. So, once you click on the update, you can see the Q load is being applied successfully. All right, so this is how you apply your loads to the lines, the roof load successfully. If you want to also apply the wind load, you can just have to select the wind load in the X direction or in the Y direction and apply it as well. Okay, but these are the load we are going to be working with for the sake of this lesson. Okay, click on the OK option. So now the load is being applied successfully on the polarized. If, for instance, we want to apply load on this uh, curve beam, okay, so you just have to select it right click and then you click on the edit load. So in the edit load, you will have this. So yeah, it's going to be full uniform loads we are going to be applying on this. Okay, so you just have to select this first. So once you get that selected, over here, you have to key in the load value, the load magnitude, okay? And then we key it, make it two kilonewton per square meter. So once you bring your hand over it like this, you see it's being selected, just click it once. So here is the load, you can see two right there, right? For the G load, okay? For you want to add the Q load, maybe you want it to be three kilonewton, you can just key it three right there and then select this, just like this. So with this, we have successfully placed and added the let us two loads successfully on this uh, curve beam. Click on the update options and then close options. So, if we want to also add the same load to the rest of these curve beams, you can also copy a load from this. So, you get this letter right click and then in the drop down uh, menu, you navigate to uh, you navigate to this copy loads or control C. Once you select that, click on the OK options to get all the load properties copied. So, we want to paste it on this, you can select the first one. Or the control key so you can select multiple of that curve beam right just like this then you right click and then you have to paste the load now click on paste okay so once you paste it all the load is being paste on this successfully how do you know select it and then check it the property the edit load property now you will see the load on it so you can see the load now being paste successfully just like this click on the okay option so at this time we are going to be carrying out the analysis. So we'll go to the analysis uh, tab right there. In the analysis, click on the building analysis. In the building analysis dialog, you can decide to set the materials, but I want to go by default of these materials for the sake of this lesson. Okay. If you click on this edit material, you can have a provisions where you'll be able to edit your materials, all of this effectively. 
okay but i'll go by this default so straight away we'll go to the analysis tab so just have to select the building analysis right there and then in these provisions we have the first concrete column we have to check that and these team members the program will have to design all of this for us so we click on the building analysis to start the analysis Right, so the analysis is completed the relative draft is also uh, actually past the limit so you just have to click on the ok options and then after which you close this right there okay so uh, the team members has been designed successfully if i should navigate to the display options go to view option then the analytical uh, model i click right there all right so here is the analytical model so you can also check your loadings here and the applications as well as the you know moments right there once they have been checked like this you can see the behavior of it on the uh on the structure just like this okay you can now remove the label if you want to remove that all right and that will also take effect successfully okay all right so everything is okay uh we have to check the members go back to the uh we go back to the physical model I will check the members, I click on one of these members, right click, and then I will click on the uh, steam members design uh, options. And it will display whether the member has actually passed design or failed or found it here. Yeah? Okay, so you can see uh, that particular steam sections, the plantation ratio is actually failing right there. The transition ratio is actually failing right there, while the share check has passed. In these situations, what you need to do is you can actually make changes to this uh, section by coming to change sections you click right there so once you click on the change section options right there you will be taken to the column sections uh dialog just like this in this dialog you can be able to actually uh select a uh, more larger sections right let's use 200 and then select it right there click on the ok options so it will have to boot it's not still uh, pass okay so you have to uh, check design again Check design again, it's not still pass. Go back right and then IP sections this time around. Let's take uh, 240 sections, select and OK options. All right, so you can see 240 has passed the design successfully. You can see the U ratio is now 0 0.8, which is less than 1. You can see. Click on the OK options. So, likewise, every other members, you have to just check them uh, one by one, all right, to ensure they have passed design. All the steel sections have passed design successfully. This one has passed design, okay. I believe let us check this other one because this section is also a smaller section so let's check it to ensure it passes design successfully you click on this team member design right there okay so in this dialog you notice it's still it also failed okay so we'll come to change sections and then we come to IPE sections this time around let's use 240 and select it right there click on the ok options and then it's going to boot up so you can see now it now passes the design successfully okay so after which you can check the trusses as well select one of the trusses right click on it and then you click on the uh steam member design options right there then you see all the trusses just like this it is only the bottom code that is having a kind of a slenderness failure right there which can be fabricated and corrected at site during construction so right so click on the okay options right there everything is good so we can now have to proceed to design the foundations of this structure so for us to design the foundation we have to move the grid lines to the zero to the zero level like this okay at this level now we can have to select all the reinforced concrete columns okay for us to do that we can just activate the front directions okay the front view of this or you just have to go to the plant view of the uh, structure the plant view of this structure just like this mm. All right, so at this plan view now, you get all the columns selected, just like this. You can do a sheet over it, just like this. Once they are all selected, like right click, and then in the menu you can see insert part footings right there. Click in that provisions, 
those are the path footings then uh, you just leave it sometimes it's going to boot up and come up with the path footing designs dialog just like this in this design dialog you give it a time just a few seconds it's going to design the footings automatically the design is actually in progress at this point now click on the design or this one click on this design or so once i click on the design or it's going to carry out the designs of the footing or you can also cancel it from here then you can also design it individually all right design individually by selecting it like this right click and then select the insert path footings all right so in the path footing dialog you can see uh, the footing depth is this okay if you check in the 3d uh provisions you can be able to see that it is a a double reinforce both top and bottom you can see all right so if this is okay you can just you know click on the uh okay options right there but if this is not okay you can also you can also go to the real bar sections and then to remove the top real bars all of the top real bars uh should not be selected okay so that you can have a single you can see single reinforce uh, footing just like this and it still passes design all right meaning if you have both top and bottom the top bars may be you know over designs all right so click on the okay option to insert this successfully so with that same process you have to insert it insert your footings for all of uh, these columns okay so let us use select all methods okay so we click and do a sheet over all the columns just like this only control key to be able to select this other one that has not been selected just like this after which you right click and then click on the insert path footing options so in this provisions now you have to click on this redesign all this one once you click on the redesign all you click on the design all give the program some seconds to design all the footings successfully right now all the footings has been designed successfully click on the ok options to have them placed just like this you can see all right you can navigate to 3d now to actually view what you've done so far so you have something of this kind just like this okay all right so after designing all of this now you can now take this structure to the proto detail sorry to proto steel to be able to design the steel connections all right so we'll be doing that right away we spot this to proto steel so you just have to navigate to drawing a report tab and then click on the proto steel just once we'll give it some seconds to load proto steel just like this So here is Protas still loaded successfully. Okay, so this is our project in Protas still. So what we will be doing now is the connections we will be designing. Okay, but we are going to be carrying out the connection design here in the next lesson because it's going to be a complete lesson on the con connection design. All right. So if you have not subscribed, subscribe and stay tuned for more advanced lesson of this kind. Don't forget to like. See you in the next lesson and bye for now.